Good morning and welcome to Frank's School. This is the 48th day of the 7th year first video and I'm going on with the making of Resurrection. Uh, the name of a, a wordless, not a silent, a wordless movie and I'm now in Act 2. And Act 2 and Act 3 and Act 4 are really the didactic uh, parts of this film. Now I've explained that earlier. I hadn't better take too long and I better erase because this looks so complicated. Uh, first, uh, in this Act 2 they start everything. There, there's starts, beginnings that occur. And also the gardens are, are going to be especially important because it's going through the seasons and the gardens have to get started. Presumably it's the first day, but it, 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 I, it might work out better to not even pretend that and just let it extend out. But I think it's like, in theory, the first day. So starts and gardens, that's what's going on. Now I, wanna, I have genotype versus phenotype here. Because um, what I'm describing, well, the, the, the score, the soundtrack, which I am now estimating will be about two hours long, and the story is a, a genotype. But as, as it's expressed in different places, in different settings, in different lands, those would be the phenotypes. And I'm actually dealing with two phenotypes in my mind. I'm trying to keep that aware. Because right here, the principal one that I'm working with is very, uh, it's, uh, it's detailed. I mean, the Camp Ranch campus of Frank School, I said elsewhere, I've got about 80 uh, spots that, that are going to be uh, work, that, that are potential work, uh, workplaces. But go on ahead. Um, they're, they're potential uh, work stations, and uh, I guess in theory there could be 80 people all working at once. It's a school uh, of the trades, really, what's right here. Um, but I, I, my preferred uh, phenotype for this movie would be in Portugal. Uh, I keep saying that, but just off of the places that I know, Ch Chiqueiro, uh, the abandoned village, would work perfect. So uh, they're simple and there's detailed and see as I'm constructing this score in my mind I'm trying to make it in such a way that it can cover so much that's here. Uh, if it were being more simply done uh, there would be not, be not be all these shops and stuff uh, uh, to, uh, to deal with. Alright so phenotype versus uh, or genotype versus phenotype and simple versus complex and uh, Portugal, uh, abandoned village in Portugal versus uh, where I'm living here. All right, now another thing I, I'll deal with it. I, I've begun to imagine that I could just maybe do this as one very, very long slideshow, you know, eliminate live action altogether and just sort of show the show it as so many stills as I, you know, personally uh, reconstruct uh, this abandoned village that's here. All right, now. The order, one, there's eight. Basically there are eight characters here so far, and that's almost all. Two more coming, principal characters coming in act four, three or four. All right, there's the order, and, and I would tend to sweep through each one of them uh, as many times as I could in act two. One, first time, second time, maybe the third time, depending on how it would all work out without the act being too long. Uh, so anyway, Batch, uh, he, he, oh, and this basically stands for what they stand for. He's the cook, brings goats, uh, a herd, herder, if you wish, principally. Nama, water. Festus, metal. Marion, well, I had a little trouble with him, but I'm going to think of him as a builder. Remember, he's the one who seems to have summoned these characters forth, who are uh, again, reminding you, they are basically gods, not people, but they're in disguise and burdened with, uh, with uh, humanity. Uh, but anyway, he, uh, I think of him as a builder. Uh, Paul, Wood, Robin, family, but also, you know, clothing and especially gardens. And the boy, Robin's son, and his little dog, Bingo, they're, they're learners. They, they go around exploring everything. They're, they're like students and uh, you know idealize students little kids want to know they want to know they get into stuff all right that's what they all sort of represent now these circles i made because batch basically stays in his kitchen but Bryn and nama 
They'll work together because with water, Nama provides the drainage and the irrigation for the, uh, the gardens and uh, Bryn, uh, you know, but not only the gardens but the pasture as well. So in a sense these two work together, principally in the gardens. Uh, Festus and Nama, they're going to work together as I'll show you here in a second. Marion works with Festus and Marion works with Paul. Uh, uh, they're sort of together now and, and these two are kind of always together. Now Robin and Nama and, and Bryn, all three of them become real important in the gardens, but everyone has the garden. All right, so the first time through, this, the act opens with a, a loud fart that scares everybody, especially the goats. See, I've explained elsewhere that I need comic relief uh, in, in a movie that's in many ways as serious as this. And the goats bolt out of the barn, off they go, and, and, and Bryn has to chase the scared goats, and, and that takes her out through the garden, which is in complete destruction. I mean, derelict, the, gar the garden, off they go. Then, then, and then Batch, but he, he then turns to his kitchen, trying to find what, what, what is there he can cook with. And he finds, a co I mean, the cook stove is right there, and he gets it lit, and it gets it working, so he's got a cook stove. Uh, Nama, she immediately goes to the spring that she maybe has found the night before uh, and she carries water, it's not far away, and she carries water so that they've got drinkable water from the spring. Festus, he, uh, not far from the kitchen in the same building there where they sleep, there's a furnace there and he gets it lit and that's also where his shop is and his forge at one of them and you'll see the anvil, that's what he does, uh, you see these things. Marion, he's with Festus as they look around to see what they've got. Uh, Paul, he gets wood, uh, firewood. You know, he makes sure that they're going to have firewood. He looks around and sees what there is. Uh, Robin, uh, she cleans up the bedding, you know, and sort of starts to tidy up and tries to make a home. She's got her chickens to deal with. And then uh, Robinson, he, he and his little little dog, they go exploring around. They find a granary that actually has grain in it. It's got corn, it's got some barley, it's got some wheat in it. Uh, you know, it's, it was well enough built that, that, the, that the grain is still okay. All right, that's the first sweep through. The second sweep through, well, uh, back to Batch, he makes up a dough to get bread ready. He's found the bake oven and he's cleaned it up and he gets it ready. Of course, dough has to rise. He also begins to make malt. He, he, he some, some, some that he's brought probably with him. Uh, uh, what I want to call malt extract, but it would be dry. He gets working on the brewing, the baking and the brewing right away. Gardening. Bryn uh, is uh, is out there with her goats and is trying to get this garden going. Uh, Nama. Here's a f kind of a favorite scene of mine. Nama and Festus together. Uh, she takes him by the hand and leads him off into the woods, you know, and, and that, that's a, a remnant of this tension that I've tried to build, sexual tension actually, between these two, you know, what's going on here, is she after him, is he after her, whatever, she leads him off into the woods, and you wonder what's going on, well, she has found the weir, which is where you divert water uh, from a, a creek, and and, and together, they, they, it's very easily done, together they restore that water supply and that water heads off toward the, uh, the village uh, and where a, a spectacular set of water wheels uh, will be built later and it also irrigates the garden, so that goes on. Festus, he, this might have to be a third sweep, he finds it, an old sheller, corn sheller, <coughs> finds that it works, a burr mill, which is a way of grinding grain into a sort, sort of flour. He finds that, gets it working, and he sharpens the tools, the hose, the, the, you know, just by, yeah, he's got a hammer and an anvil, he does the sharpening. Uh, Paul, he finds hut kits. He finds that when this village was deserted, there were various huts that, that had, the pieces had been sawed, and they were stacked. He found where they, found where they are. And uh, now Robin, she's in the garden, She's in the garden as soon as she can, work in there, and, uh, and uh, Ro Robinson and Bingo, they find tools. They, exploring around, they find a place where there's all kinds of garden tools uh, and other tools as well. All right, that's the second sweep through, or maybe third. I think it'll take three, 
And then uh, they, they, at some point they have a meal of pancakes, which is easy enough made with the stuff that Batch had brought, uh, probably based on water. But then they, it ends, uh, Act 3, 2, will end with a supper where they're all eating out of a single dish in the middle, uh, what I think of as Moroccan style, uh, because by then Batch has managed to make some bread. They dip the bread in. And that's how they'll eat. But it, as a sort of a grace, the music will be we gather together. And then there's a private concert that they do each for each other because they have musical instruments. And each one then plays a theme. Some of them might be exactly the same theme as they were first introduced with, probably not. And at that time, portraits. And I think of Zeffirelli. Uh, in his Romeo and Juliet, uh, which may, many of you might have seen, when there's a sort of a minstrel entertaining everybody at this party, uh, Zeffirelli has his camera go around the, the circle, and you get these portraits of these people in their costumes and stuff. Uh, I, another way that I think of Zeffirelli is with the scared goats and them running. Uh, Zeffirelli used something like that in uh, Brother, Son, Sister, Moon when uh, the, the church that they were rebuilding had been attacked and was being burnt and stuff. And, and the sheep, in that case, sheep all go running when, at the shout. All right, there's a very fast roughing out of Act Two. Bye for now.